Hello Libras, this is your monthly reading for June 2016. So this will be for Libra's Sun, Moon, and Rising. So I'll start with the first week, which retro I'm sorry, which represents the energy for the first half of the month. And we have 14 caring connections. So the energy in the beginning of the month will focus on areas and matters of the heart. So, <laughs> sorry. So the um, in regards to your connections with another or could be family, I'm feeling, I always, usually I sense a couple, but it's rare that I sense a father and daughter type of connection. I feel like there's going to be some healing with that, some stability within a partnership or with a father and daughter um, situation. So there, this is the focus, I feel like this will be the focus this month. Um, a connection with another person that needs some healing or stability. So if this is a father and his daughter, there will definitely be some stability in a new beginning with this child or she might be a, an older adult um, child. If this is a uh, older woman or a young woman, your connection with your father will be stabilized. It will reach a newness. There's going to be a lot of positive energy around this. He's going to come around. Maybe he hasn't been as um, he has been. In, he hasn't been as present in your life as you would like, or as a father should. And I feel like he's going to come back and make those amends, and you're going to be very welcoming to very welcoming to him. If this is a romantic situation, I feel like there will be. Um, a renewal like maybe an engagement or a marriage I feel like this is like a wedding energy so it may be attending some weddings and then you just happen to be engaged like it's that type of energy that they're they're wanting to take that next step so it's like getting that inspiration seeing their friends married and happy and he just gets that inspiration that that's the next level that he would like to take with you or you want to take with your girlfriend, you want to move forward with them. I feel like this is a good time to do that because the both of you are stable. There's a shift in the energy between the both of you. There's like a new beginning, I'm sensing. So the additional guidance for that is 50, no place like home. So it is pretty much the same thing because one and four is five and this is 50. So like I said, there's a divine change happening or some sort of shift, a major shift in your home life in the matters of the heart and you're going to be feeling very good because it, it appears that this house is kind of you know in the sky in the air so it's like you're on the up and up it reminds me of the disney movie up so it's kind of like you're on the up and up in a sense like you're in a good place you're in the clouds cloud nine and the colors are very very tranquil very um love heartfelt energies very fuzzy, very warm. And I feel like it's, you know, definitely some things that will be said that's going to bring a, a, a newness to the situation or some, some sort of news uh, conversation or something like that is going to bring this, this harmonization in your relationship. It's a shift in energy. For week two, we have the energy of 27 walking away. So you're walking away from something gracefully. It's the past. Like I said, there's a newness happening. So you, you will be walking away from anything in the past that's holding you back. And you're not looking back in despair or in some sort of, um, you're not looking back upset or anything. It's like you're content, you're happy. Um, you're doing it gracefully. You're walking away. And I feel like this is um, a new chapter in your connection. There's number two, seven uh, divine action. So the divine is leading you to something much better in your life. There's things on the horizon for you. A lot of blossoming on the other side of this. And that same colorful energy, that purple, that pink and yellowish, bluish type of color is also there. So it's like this positive energy, this loving energy. And you're moving forward. 
So the additional guidance for week two is we have 26 happy happy. So you're very much in a good place this month, which is a, a very beautiful thing. It's a very good energy for you. You feel on top of the world. It's like you have your own key to happiness and it's an egg. It looks like an egg to me. So it's like a birth, a new birth. Like you've unlocked this new, this new happiness, this sense of, of, um, the world opening up, the world at your feet kind of thing. And she's dressed in blue. So it's like some things are said or something, like I said, I feel like this is a proposal or this is a father reaching out or a conversation with your father that just brings this, this new sense of happiness. Like this conversation needed to be had is what I'm getting. And it's definitely in relations to another person who is have 26. So two is of a partner ship or some other person involved and six is a number of harmony so there is a harmony in this in this situation there's something that's being harmonized there's a blessing in disguise or there's some some beautiful energy backing this so for week three we have the energy of 30 the garden and the gate so um you're you're focused on one area of your life everything is pretty much going well but it's like you're missing out on other things that need your focus and attention you have the key to unlock that um you're very much in a loving place this is a like a beautiful energy still but it's kind of like um discontentment or your focus is narrow on one situation in your life when there's other things to focus on yeah yeah so honestly um spirit is trying to get you to understand something or see something um outside of where your focus is right now you're in a good place you're in a good energy but there's other things to focus on or that need your attention and you have the key to unlock that but your focus is narrow and they're saying to change your perspective or um fo look at other things in your life don't focus just on one thing right now and the additional message with that we have high higher power number four so yeah, there's and there's a lock on their third eye. So they're trying to get you to see, like I said, you have the, the key to unlock something. So they're trying to get your attention and they're trying to open your um, perception or they're trying to change your focus on something. Because there may be some other things in your life that aren't so stable and good and you need to focus on that. You need to look at those things. And this is like loving guidance. They want you to to take a look at those things and the energies are very much the same this purple and blue energy um and pink it's like pink energy it's very light-hearted energy so it's like your spiritual guides are doing this in love it won't be a harsh nudge and it might not even be a harsh thing that you need to change your perception it's like but look at this there's other things that need your attention as well okay so the final week the energy we have is 23 all tied up. So again, um, you're bound to something and you're not speaking up about something at this point, like at the end of the month, it's something that needs to be said and you're not saying, you're not allowing your feelings or emotions to flow. It's like you're keeping them bound, which in turn is keeping you like stuck, your energy stagnant, you're not moving. And it has something to do with your partnership. And number three, they want you to bring something up. There's something else that needs your focus and you need to speak about it. Or you need to be honest about how you feel about this and you're not doing it. But they're saying that it's for your highest good because it's it's still shifting the energy. It, you need to, this needs to be said or this needs to be explored um, because it's keeping you stuck where you are and you want to keep moving. You want to keep moving. So the additional message with that, we have two yen. 
So again, it is a partnership, the yin and yang. So the yin, it needs your focus. Um, it needs your love because there's this is loving energy. This purple and pink energy is um, pretty dominant in your reading. So there's something that needs to be done with love, but also we have to be spiritually grounded um, when you when you are in the situation. Spirit is behind you and they're they're guiding you. So I feel like um, really you need to be in a soft energy. So if you're a male, you need to be in the place of a soft, loving energy at this point at the end of the month. Honoring how you feel and honoring your emotions. And that is for feminine energies as well. You need to honor your feelings and your emotions and come from a place of love. And you need to free yourself. There's something that needs to be said to free yourself. Okay. All right. So the final card is the uh, romance or love message for a single or partnered Libras. And we have illusion, which is the moon card. So, although things are good in your situation, it's like you're fully not speaking your truth. There's something that needs to be said in your situation for you to fully move forward. Things are good. However, there's something else that needs your focus and attention so that it could um, receive the healing that it needs or the releasement or that conversation that needs to come up or you need to really... Um, value your emotions or how you feel about a situation you need to get real with yourself you need to come out of the illusion um this is messages so you may have to you know write a message to someone if you're not able to meet them face to face but there's something that needs to be um come to the light because it's like this the swan here this black swan is hiding um it's like the light in the dark so it's like something that's in the light and there's something that's hidden in the dark and you're a little bit ashamed and you want to say something and it's like when you do you're going to transform yourself it's going to bring light to the situation and you need to follow that instance and that's in a relationship or partnership and even if you're single that some something needs to be said and you need to be honest with yourself all right, so that's the reading. I hope that this resonates with you. I send you lots of love, and I wish you a blessed month. Bye-bye.